Canelo versus Munguia. Who's going to win? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to On Me Ed, son. I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for all future videos. <gasps> so, who's going to win? Canelo versus Munguia. It's coming within a week now, May the 4th. And, uh, well, I suppose everybody is, most people, let's say, are kind of leaning towards Canelo, right? Master, right? He's going to win this fight. But I'm kind of going to go the other way. I thought in his last fight, Canelo didn't look that great. I thought Munguia looked pretty decent in his last fight as well. Two Mexicans going head to head. Is this the passing of the baton, the next generation? Has Canelo had his day? Now, these are all big statements, right? I have no idea. I have no idea if Canelo has had his, you know, had his time in the ring. It's probably time for him to go on to pass his new. But at some point, every fighter faces that. They face that moment. When they come up against the, the younger fighter, the next generation fighter, somebody who's that good that they could really cause an upset. And it would be an upset for me. This would be an upset if Munguia beat Canelo. But could he do it? You see Munguia being the younger guy at 27 while Canelo is 33. Could that make a difference? Possibly, possibly. But at 33, he's, he's nowhere near past his uh, best. So I don't think the age issue is that much. If Canelo was, let's say, a 37 versus a 29-year-old or a 27-year-old, then I'd be like, mm, yeah, possibly. But in terms of this, in age difference, no, I'm not so sure. But Munguia's had 43 fights, 43 wins, 34 by knockout and his last fight out he fought john Ryder, and he just yeah john Ryder put on you know a a tremendous effort but you know it was it was just it was just a mungia show right and in round nine of that fight it was good night vienna he just looked impressive he just looked on point he just looked quite vicious and i th thought he looked really really impressive whereas canelo at times you thought hmm you look a little bit exposed here now obviously let's just put the bivol fight out of the way because he stepped up to light heavyweight and he was just found wanting really bivol just completely outclassed him and outpowered him but at super mid canelo is where he's got all the bounce right he's got all the bounce what else is there to prove in his last fight against jamal charlo i yeah he got him out of there in a unanimous decision, but it, it just wasn't overly impressive. I don't think Jamal Charlo did himself a lot of favours anyway, in all fairness. I mean, it wasn't a great fight for me anyway. In fact, in his last three fights, he's gone the distance. And he's won by unanimous decision, of course. But he's still gone the distance. He hasn't gone out by knockout. So that was against Charlo, against John Ryder, and against Golovkin as well. Now, Canelo's had 64 fights. He's won 60 of them. He's had two losses and two draws. Now, out of the 60 wins, 39 have been by knockout and 21 have been by decision. But could the 60 of fights have kind of taken the edge off Canelo? Could Munguia, the younger guy, less fights, more impressive ratio, you could say, of knockouts and wins? Could he beat Canelo? I think he could. I think he could. Whilst everything seems to be in Canelo's favour, whilst if you hear most of the pundits out there, the big pundits, let's say, the ones who are supposed to know what they're talking about, right? They'll say Canelo's going to win this. Canelo's going to win this. Now, I haven't heard many people say Munguia. Now, I'm not just saying this just to be different. I'm not just saying this just think, do you know what? You know, I just don't like Canelo. Or, you know, I don't have a dog in this race. I don't really care. But I just think, by looking at Munguia's last few fights, look at Canelo's last few fights, whilst that isn't always a great gauge to go by, of course, and I accept that, he just looks like the younger, fitter, more of a boxer with a purpose. Whereas Canelo, he kind of doesn't look like that. He's still undisputed, of course. He's still the number one. And any number one is going to have to be challenged. But I think Munguia is probably the fighter to give Canelo the biggest challenge he's had in many a year. 
outside of Bivol, of course. This is why I'm going to go for Mungia. I'm going to nail my flag to the mast. I'm going for Mungia in this one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I really can't call it. It's a kind of a flimsy prediction, really, I suppose. But I'm just going by the younger guy. He seems to be more impressive in his last fights. I'm not so sure about Canelo anymore in terms of the, the opponents that he's had and also the wins, the manner of the wins that he's had. And for that reason, I'm going for Mungia. I'm sure you'll have an opposite view or you might have the same view. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. But for me, Mungia is going to win. Catch you again. Bye now.